fun-filled time travel adventure, wasn't it? Yeah. We didn't mess up the timeline, did we? That works! Greetings, yeah. and welcome to That Works. That might have peaked it a little. Starring a happily employed photographer barely getting by with DoorDash. A disgruntled ex-journalist now writing Scott Pilgrim fan fiction. And a spineless, asthmatic 27-year-old curmudgeon sweeping movie theaters for a living. And today, for our 28th episode of this podcast, we are covering... Mr. Peabody and Sherman. That's a movie. Came out in 2014. At a remake of the, I believe, the Peabody and Sherman segments of, was it Rocky Bullwinkle? I'm guessing. I thought mm-hmm. I wrote that down. Yep. Um, this this was a moderate, not even a moderate, kind of a, didn't, it made, we're going to keep saying this, it made back its budget, but it wasn't a giant hit like some of these other ones. And we'll get into it how did, we feel about it. It did good enough. It's, Meh. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, there's a TV show now, right, that's based off this. I think it's a with Netflix, the, with Netflix show. Isn't something it? like that. Yeah, just... Yeah, the point being that it, it it's not like the franchise, the DreamWorks franchise of it died. But looking at these numbers, it, it probably they're probably hoping for much more than what it got. Yeah. I think this came before the series, though, so... Well, yeah. yeah that's what we're saying. Yeah. We're saying the movie didn't kill it. The show continued it. It moderately slapped it. Moderately? Moderately. Just, kind of a, Just a little bit of a whoop. Kind of a... Yeah, I think it's a whoop. You made enough money. Wait. Well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's just jump right into it. Again, spoilers. It's a seven-year-old kids movie based off of an even a much, much older thing, but... Yeah, I, mean, I just want to clarify from my age that I was not old enough to have seen the original Rocky and Bullwinkle wow. shorts. I just know that it was a part of that. I thought, you, I thought you watched those as a kid. Yeah, well, you would, wouldn't you, Zoomer? <laughs> He's about eight years old when they first started coming out. He remembers them. It's about 1964. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Back in the day. I'm, I'm, what does that even mean? Means you're an old man. Back in the day was yesterday. That was a day. That was, that and true. it was back. That is true. Like, kind of feeling like football. Football. We're feeling like pitbull right now. We're going back, back in in time. We would like to issue an apology on behalf of Dicky at this point in time. Yeah, sorry, pitbull, but you had to hear that. <laughs> I did it just as good, if not better. So, without further ado, Mister Peabody and Sherman. Based on the Peabody's Improbable History segments from the Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle and Friends television series, we follow the titular pair as they travel through time causing havoc, or wreaking havoc, I think I meant to say. (laughs) After Sherman (laughs) bites... After Sherman bites a girl named Penny after she made fun of Mr. Peabody being Sherman's dad, the doggy daddy must convince the wretched Miss Corunian that he's a suitable father for Sherman, by preparing an elaborate dinner for the Petersons, Penny's parents. But when Penny cons Sherman into showing her the time machine, they shoot off into an adventure through time that will only get more complicated by the third act. And it's a hoot and a half. It is a hoot and a holler. Okay. We've all seen this one before, right? Yep. Okay. For me, it was around this time that I watched the only time I'd seen it before this. And I have no idea when I first saw this. But How I many know. times have you seen it? Just like one? Twice. Twice. Well, I mean, yeah. Okay. So twice. And how many times have you seen this? I don't want to say. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, how many times have now, you, you seen this Do you want to go last one? or do you want to start? I mean, I, I don't, it doesn't matter. I've probably seen it probably six times. Holy crap. I I really like the movie. Fair enough. You know what? Let's have Jake start. Let's get all the... Not that there's a lot of bad stuff. No. Just let's get let's hear the the big positives. Let him. Get I first. What year did this come out again? Twenty fourteen. Twenty fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Good year. It was. Um. 
trying to remember why I like this movie. <laughs> I have to. Admit, wow, it must be really good. This must be one of your favorites of all time, all, right? All time, all time. Um, I love this movie. I really like it. I've seen it six times. I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> oh, when was the last time you watched it? Oh, it was like 30. <laughs> that might not actually be wrong. I mean, besides, besides this. Year, this. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, like, some of us, you watch things as a kid like 20 times, but if you haven't seen it in two decades, I get it. I mean, you were, you were, what, 28 when this came out? 27, 27 yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, uh, just a little bit older than us right now. I just yeah. am always have always been really tickled by time travel. Just always been really tickled by it. Tickle your fancy. What are some yes. of your favorite uh, time travel movies? Movies? Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah. How does this stack up when it comes to time yeah, travel? Like, it's not a ranking. Just like what okay, are some even. time travel movies you like? <laughs> sounds so bad. Um, the time traveler's wife was pretty entertaining. <laughs> I thought he'd it's say an, like wow. There was a lot. I want to say there was a lot of different ones you could have went with. I was not expecting <laughs> that. That's that. probably the most recent one I've watched that's got to do with time travel. But like, interesting. I'm I'm more talking about when I was going through college. I watched a lot of Doctor Who. Yeah. A lot of like a lot of different things that like mess with time. Like I know it's not a time travel movie, but the way time is framed in like something like momentum or uh, memento. Memento, yes. I was very confused like momentum. My, I like sorry, my brain. Yeah, that's not really time travel. It's, it's I know, it's but it's old. again, it's the different ways in which time is framed. Yeah. So maybe not time travel, but time as a as a vehicle. As a medium. Like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Basically when a movie really changes how time is perceived. Yes. Gotcha. I, I'm the same way. I love time jumps. People hate except, them. I, except I for Tenet. I don't know. I, I don't appreciate how Tenet. <laughs> that's a whole another conversation. I don't appreciate how Tenet uses uh, time as a medium. Yeah, though I saw a really funny comment today where it was where something about Tenet. They're like, Tenet was great. I can't wait. For, I, can't, well, I can't wait for Dunkirk and Interstellar. Like, <laughs> the inverse. I don't that's funny oh boy it, it was, is funny yeah that's anyway funny. back to the reasons i actually like this movie and i know i just said that i did not grow up with these shorts but i my parents i did watch them we had them on like a vhs tape or something so you so, did grow up with these shorts not in that way not like in you i am around old. when they first were around yes but you did grow up with them yes and i also grew up with the style of cartoon that was like garfield and friends that like that's the kind of thing that we're talking about here so i really relate to the humor and I just, it was fun. It was lighthearted. That third act just really, it's crazy. it ratches it, ratch, ratch, well, 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 ratchets <laughs> it up and just pulls the whole movie together in a way that really saves it and makes it all worth it. Oh, that's fair. Unrelated. Garfield friends. Why did his mouth move? Why does his mouth move? No, it doesn't. Why doesn't it? Because the joke is that he's thinking it. He's not actually talking? No. Man, I watched that show wrong as a you, kid. It makes more sense if you read the comic strips. Well, yeah, but mm -hmm. I thought he was talking in the comic strips. No, strip. it's a thought bubble. No, it's always thought bubbles. Oh, it is crap. It's, it's, I've been reading it. Even comics I wrong. knew that one. It's meant to replicate the way that cats communicate with us. But all the other animals talk. Except no, 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 no. Those are just the barnyard ones. They don't intersect. Oh. It's been a long time. I, say I can't say I've ever watched those. Those are yeah. the middle lesser of the shorts. Yeah. Kind of like Peabody and Sherman. Or whatever Which, you said it was called. Uh, Peabody's Improbable History. Or Pinky and the Brain, if you want to go Animaniac style hey, on this. yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good Which, by too. the way, I am shocked who gave that a season two. I did not know that it did that well. Must have. Must have been good enough. Did you have any other thoughts on Peabody and Sherman? I'm, I'm sure I will. You're but just waiting not... to hear what we have to say where you're going to be like, no, I don't agree with that. And we'll be like, why? And you'll be like, because I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, isn't that how this generally goes? Yeah, well, yeah usually when it's him. Yeah. Usually it's us just, just having to somehow... How to say this? How to how to 
think from his perspective. It's like staring into an oven. <laughs> <laughs> You're just getting blasted with this heat. And when you look in there, there's nothing but soot I'm, or whatever. I'm sorry. Trump. Did you just say that to get into Dickie's brain, we put our heads in an oven? It's electric. Because <laughs> that makes it better. I don't know why I said oven. I could have said fireplace. Oh, oh really? <laughs> yeah. Dickie, your opinions are like sticking my head in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant to say, well, oven. I should have just said that. Goodness gracious, I Jer. Know. You want to go oh next? Gosh. Sure. Yeah, no, I I dug this movie. I will say, kind of like how you said you really like time travel stuff. It's iffy. Is it like the only tricky stuff about time travel is that you can't think about it too much. Is it like yep. like you can always if you always like try to find logicals, you can because it's time travel and it's, it is just naturally open to feeling logicals. So as long as I didn't like overthink about it, which like I said, I know you can't. This is just a good time. But it also the same thing with the logic of a dog being a parent and like trying to figure out like where this like how this universe works. I am a dog it's, too. I am. I am a dog too. I, I was cringing so I'm like, hard. I'm like, what is during... going on? <laughs> but I mean, I, I'm not gonna pick it apart. It's a fun kids movie. I did have a good time with it. We're, we're starting to get into those those movies where, like, at this point. This was probably right before you graduated, right? High school. 2014, yeah. Oh, like literally like a couple months. Before. Literally a couple and months. And I was, in, I was in my first couple years of college. You were way well out. I was um, graduated for four years by then. From college. Yes, yeah. from college. So the point being, we're getting into the section. Like the first chunk is, hey, we were little we kids when we watched this. remember watching Then, then there's kids. a chunk of like, we're going into like middle and into high school where we're still watching some, but we're starting to phase out. Now, even though I did watch this around the time it came out physically, Mm -hmm. We're starting to get to the point where we don't have a lot of There's, deep, deeply rooted opinions and emotional yeah. takes unless it's something we really like, really hate, because it's like, yeah, this is just for us. Just the connection just wasn't there. And then I just didn't have that childhood phase. I'm sure you did. No. When was Ants released? 98? 98. Okay. Well, I was like 12. Eighth grade-ish. Okay, well, yeah, well, now with four, now with these movies, but you obviously had your childhood movies. Oh, obviously, I mean, yeah. Bible Goes West. Yeah, Ricky Ticky Tabby. Oh, the Mongoose. Yeah, that's, that's a great one. I just know the Donovan song. Yeah, and and it's like the old, Ricky Ticky Tabby. And all, and it's just like um, uh, Rick's like. Little, that's why I said it that way. Yeah, yeah. Ricky Ticky Tabby. Anyway, <laughs> it always used to scare me. <laughs> I was just gonna say just. I just, I don't have a ton of notes. And when I'm watching it, I'm going like, it's fine. It's a very simple story. It's clearly aimed at people much younger than me. I don't, I don't need to rip this apart. There's no, like, not that, exactly. not that I can. I'm yeah. just saying like, this isn't something that I have a perspective on. Because by that, right before the third act gets crazy, I remember thinking like, like, I'm just, I'm not finding a, a ton of stuff that I would call negative. But I'm not finding a ton of stuff I'd call super positive. I'm just kind of in the middle. It's and just, it's not boring. I was never bored. Yeah. I'm just kind of like, this This feels like, and what it's supposed to be, Saturday morning cereal. Oh, no, I, I think this... Cereal with an S, by the way, even though cereal with a C sounds really good right now. I will say that, too. What's yeah. your favorite kind of cereal? What's your favorite kind of cereal? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast is a good pick. Reese's Find any shrimp? I, no, <laughs> there are no shrimp in mine. Thank God. Reese's Peanut Butter Crunch. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Oh, that's what beat it is. Up, beat him up, beat him up. Peanut butter chocolate flavor. That one. Yeah. I don't even let my, I don't let myself have it. I forgot the name of it. Wow. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. I always like Cookie Crisp as a kid. Or Apple oh. Jacks. People, I, there's Apple two, Jacks, sir. There, there are two responses for the Cookie Crisp. I have some people go, oh, yeah, my parents would not let me eat that. No, never. And then the other half are, mm -hmm. ew. I go, ew. It's just cookies. So, it's yeah, literally ew. You know, like just cookies. cookies. What's wrong They're with kind of like hollow cookies, aren't they? Kind of, yeah. They, they, I, I just, I, that's I mean, the, that's, they're, they're massive factory made cookies. What do, you, what do you expect? That's the other thing. I think Apple Jacks changed like their recipe because they do not taste the same as they did. Well, they put apple they, in it. Remember, it was the whole, the whole thing was it's cinnamon. There's no apple in it. And then they started putting the apple in it because of those commercials. Remember? Oh. I also yeah, like the pebbles. Both of them. Oh, I prefer the fruity pebbles. ones because, you know. Yeah. They get soggy. Don't forget quick. about Captain Crunch. Yeah. Captain now, are we talking Captain Crunch like. 
just the normal ones or with like the berries because remember the normal just the normal one just, just, the, normal. just the normal i like the i always I like all the three berry. really i i was just a normal kid all, all three <laughs> no, you were, okay no you were not <laughs> okay 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 i was gonna I say if it's you, one thing you've there. kept from your childhood it's your voice i don't think you've ever dropped <laughs> nope I mean, maybe a touch, <laughs> then again, but not really. That's why they thought they probably thought you were mute because you were talking at such a high frequency. That that's why they had to keep taking your dog into the vet because he kept squirming he kept whenever squirming you opened your mouth. Was talking, it just got way too high. Oh, sorry about that. Anyway, yeah. I enjoyed all three mouth cutting um, flavors of Captain Crunch. This is my fault for the cereal. I was going to say, now you brought cereal up, and now I just want All cereal you're watching or so listening, bad I'm right. sorry. Here, here, I'll change it back. So, breakfast pizzas from the Swans guy. The Swan. Schwan. Schwan. Yeah, Schwan. If people know what that is, it that is might just be a local the, thing. For all I know. From the what? I have no See, idea. See, he doesn't know. I have That's no why you're, you're going to say that, and people out there are going to be like, what are they talking about? For those that don't know, Schwan's guy is a glorified mobile Sam's Club ish. Thing. A mobile Sam. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's. You ever see the trucks go by? They're yellowish, and yellow and green, like not like super yellow, more like a like a pea green. And it says on the side Schwans, and there's a swan in the logo, and they have it's frozen food, hmm. and you order it, and it, like, what is it once a month? Something so like that. ours ours came <laughs> once a month, and my mom never ordered the food; she just took it out of the. The truck when he came, or picked it out of the truck when he came. Oh, yeah, back in the day. Now it's all app driven. Yeah, I have no idea. That's the point. It's basically they have their own products. Huh. And what when you order that and you throw it in your freezer, like that's how we have our mashed potatoes. Unless it's like Thanksgiving where you make them from scratch, they have a thing where you just put it in the microwave and you mash them, but they're not with flakes. They're like actually like potato. Huh. You just got to mash them up and you know, you can add stuff. That's what he's talking about. Okay. I remember. The breakfast pizzas, man. Oh, my goodness. The bacon ones are my favorite. Oh, yeah. You're talking the bigger ones or the little itty bitty ones? The little, ones? not, the, love those not the itty bitty ones, but like the, the single sort okay, of ones. Okay, like those. Yeah. yeah. I love the little ones too. You can just pop them in. You, you pop them. <laughs> those single serve ones, I used to throw one in the microwave every morning on my way to middle school or high school, one of the two, and just eat it in the car as my sister was driving. Golden to lunch. Peabody and Sherman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to say, like, this this time through, it's been a couple months since we watched this. Yeah, it's but, been a second. But I, I just remember thinking, like, I'm just, I'm not having a strong emotional connection either way, and I'm not bored. So it's not like it's bland. It's not that sin of being bland. It's just kind of like, it's, 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 it's a it's fine good. kids movie. It's, I, yeah. I, I think that's kind of why I liked it was it was like. The simplicity of it. It was the simplicity of it because it had things I liked, like, you know. To get really rudimentary here, I like dogs. Um, I like there, time. Tra- there are, in fact, dogs in the movie. Yep. <laughs> I'm a dog, too. <laughs> I, like ta- I, like, I like time travel. I like zany plots like this. I mean, the, the Roman guy. Mm, what's his name? Roman guy, that would be... Wait, are you talking about in the horse? Yeah. You're not, that's not Roman. It's Greek. Yes. Sorry. Agamemnon? Yeah. Oh yeah, Pastor Corbett. Yeah. Yep. He's always a hoot and a half. Oh, I mean, he's... um, I mean, and it's just I didn't have to think about it. I didn't have to put all this like at the time and even uh, even now all this like super heavy deep thought that things like Doctor Who were getting or like it's a yeah it's like primeval were getting or like it's like baby's first time travel and it, like it's it, I I would really I would really hope. Now that you said that, is that this is what led some kids like, that's kind of cool. What's other science travel stuff? And they stumble into the magical world of Doctor Who. Because yep. that would be awesome. Let's get more Whovians out there. <laughs> I think this would be our good. I still need to catch up on all the seasons. Yeah, me since, too. <laughs> since Capaldi. <laughs> me too. I haven't watched it. Say, I say that I'm like, I'm a Whovian. I have not watched any of the more recent seasons. Who, but, uh, who was the one after Capaldi? Jody Whitaker. Jody Whitaker. Ah, so you both stopped watching once it became. No, 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 I, no, no. I did not How watch. How dare you? Not put that. How dare did, you? To be fair, I did not watch Capaldi seasons. I stopped after Same. Matt Smith. I watched. So you haven't even watched Capaldi stuff. I correct? watched oh. one season of Capaldi, and then I stopped. Okay. 
There is. Well, a, you both said since Capaldi. So well, I yeah, because I, 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 I've seen the. I, I've seen one of Capaldi, and then I also stopped. with the Capaldi. I believe it was with the Capaldi Matt Smith shift. Mm-hmm. There was a. No, well, there, wasn't, there was a change in writers. Is, is yeah, that yeah, yeah. But left? Moffat left after David Tennant, right? Or did he leave after Matt no, Smith? No, I'm pretty sure he left after Matt Smith. We'd have to look that up because that's when I that that's what it was. It was that change in tone, mm-hmm. and I just like, eh, I just kind of fell out. I'm good. It. I'm good. Also, um, the whole Amy Pond thing mm. really exhausted me. I like, liked I liked the Amy Pond. She stuff. started off as a great character, and they wrote her into the ground. Oh, actually, by the, that, by the end of it, she by was the, this run of the mill like I need the doctor, and she was never that before. No, that that is true. That is true. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. Oh God, I miss getting a Doctor Who now because, like, I I ate up like that David Tennant, and Matt Smith years. Those were like the David Tennant the years best. are the be- the best because they're campiest. Oh, they're so campy. They don't and it is wonder, and he is just it's, the we're a weird bunch of wibbly that. wobbly timey wimey stuff. Like it just ah, I adore. That's it. called a hoogasm. <laughs> That works. <laughs> Dream works, Marcus. I'm gonna go take a shower. <laughs> 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 Gotta wash that off your back. But yeah, so yeah. Anytime we talk about time travel, I always just default to Doctor Who. I or mean, it's the easiest thing. Doctor Who or just Back to the Future. I mean, those are like the, in in my mind, those are the two time travel. Have you ever seen things. Primer? No. Primer? Yeah. No. See, that's one to watch because. It was is that a show or a movie? It's a movie. It's okay. like 70 minutes. Super low budget. Hmm. And it is very, very, very well put together and very complicated. Mm. I had to look up a YouTube video to explain what happened. <laughs> because it's two you, guys build one, but it's not like they just, we built a time machine. It's like, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's been a while, but like the way they do it, mm-hmm. it's like, it gets really complicated. It's like, if we do this, we go back like a day and we can't run into ourselves. So we just hang out in a hotel all day, but then it gets more complicated. You see, it's, that's... It's, it, it gets really trippy. That's why I appreciate something like Peabody and Sherman where they took time travel, but they made it simple, like we've been saying. It's it's a lot easier to follow because, like, the, like yeah, like I said before, like, it's very easy to get lost in logic holes. Like, even look at, look at Endgame. Like, a lot of people love that, but you can't deny that there are some logicals. The creators themselves said, don't, don't worry about that. Just, yeah, don't, don't. Just, just watch them, just enjoy the movie. I'm sure Spider-Man uh, No Way Home is going to be like, exactly like that. Yeah. Although I'm sure by the time this actually comes out, that that will have been out. And also everyone's going to hate it because or they love yeah. it. No, they're, no, they're no. going to hate it. It's they're so hype it. right now. There's no There's, way they're going to love it. it. It's not going to live up to the hype. No movie can ever live up to, amount, to the amount of hype that you this is getting You know how long right I've been hearing about Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield being in that film? And how long Andrew Garfield has been saying, and there, nah, man, nah, man, well, I'm not in it at all. And I'm not in it at all. I know. Like, literally, there has been zero confirmations that they're going to be in this. But they're going to be in it. And it's, I just, yeah, there's going to be a lot, a lot of disappointed people. There's just no way around that. Unlike Peabody and Sherman, I think the majority of people liked it. So, uh, Jake, yeah, you've said how I can't remember, now. I can't remember if you said it in this time or not. We've talked about about the animation having good animation. Yep. And while I I agree, yes, it is good competent animation. The animators did their job, and you know, it's there's no bad animation. I personally <laughs> don't like it another example of taking an older property that is a different animation style and switching it over and you you update it but you keep it that cartoony thing like you should but it just doesn't look as good you know that's kind of the way i feel about the um the illumination grinch when they changed that from the original like to the animated grinch like they they tried to make it wacky and zany and 3d and just kind of didn't like i I didn't watch the original like Rocky Rocky and Bullwinkle stuff for this, so I have no tie to that specific form of animation for this story. So that's why it doesn't hit me as hard. But I can see where you're coming from. At least. It's just, and again, I didn't watch the shorts. It's just when I look at that animation and I look at this, it's like I can see why when you make it computer animation like that, you want to keep the simplicity to make it, you know, because you don't, 
You don't want this to look. You don't want realistic. a Rocky and Bullwinkle it. Yeah. Yes. You don't want this to look photorealistic. That doesn't. No, this work. is not. But at the same time, it. I just don't like. I don't. I'm not a big computer animation fan. I know, and then that's just. But the, is that a sin of the movie no, or a sin of the medium a, I, entirely? I said this already. It's a personal bias. Yeah. Well, because I mean, like, think about it. Like the majority of movies that are coming out nowadays are that computer yeah, animated 3D style. It's really a shame. It's just easy. I, I mean, okay, it's wow. That I don't want to make it seem like it's easy to do. It's not. Oh no. But it's. It's a but little you bit. You can do it well. Yes. In a different, not in like this is bad. This is not bad. You can give it a certain style or texture. Look at Captain Underpants, the Peanuts movie, Spider Verse. Mm-hmm. There's something to it. It's not just computer animation. You look at Illumination movies. <sighs> Who's Peanuts. excited for Pratt Mario? Oh, sweet Jesus. That's going to hurt. A that moment one's... of silence. <laughs> yeah. Uh... For, all the, for, for all the people who didn't get the role i said moment of <laughs> silence you don't play taps during a moment of silence sometimes you have to get a moment of silence does not mean start okay. you have something you can it. throw at him <laughs> <laughs> i saw you going for those a mile away there <laughs> yes throw your shoe okay. throw Are it you listeners this is my flippy. This is the sound of me hitting Dickie with my flippy. <laughs> there. Yay, now we can keep it in there. Thank you for that. So, yeah, so that, what I'm, I just... No, that's fair. The I, animation is good. I don't like it. That's fair. I Yeah. And it's not the animator's fault at all. No, it's just, we always it's want just it. the we style. We always try to push that thing. The animators <laughs> are doing their job, and they are underpaid, and we love you. Oh, yes. And if it so happens that at this time... The um, whenever we're listening to this, the IATSE thing is fi- figured out. Then that's all good for those guys because I hope they get paid the right amount of t- that they should. The what? There's a strike currently about to happen for um everybody in IATSE, which is like everybody that works on movies. Oh joy! Yeah, because they're working way too many hours. They're not getting paid enough, and it's really rough. And so if they don't come to a agreement. N- Every movie's going to stop production right now. So, yeah, yep. I really hope they get to come to agreement and they get the right amount of money. We're going to have a, another 2020, aren't we? Possibly. But again, by the time this actually comes out, hopefully that'll all be figured out. So, yeah. Anyway. I, I will here. say Ty Burrell is the best part of this movie. What is up with Ty Burrell and voicing animals? Like he did this, and then Finding Dory, he did the dolphin, the whale. What was he? Like, You're not I... talking about Ed O'Neill as the octopus, are you? No, Ty Burrell was in that. Okay, what was he? He was either the dolphin or the whale. I genuinely don't remember. I think it's the dolphin. Do I need to look it up? If you want to, but if you I want to. We don't. I, you don't have to. But anyway, I'm just saying. Yeah, he seems to be very talented at voicing animals, and he's in. Modern Family, right? He is in Modern. Yeah, he's and so dad. is Ariel Winter, right? Isn't she a Modern Family? Isn't she one of the kids? She might be. I don't know. I, I know it good enough to know that Ty Burrell never, is in it, but I, I never don't know. Really if, watched it. Yeah, Ty Burrell is Bailey. Bailey. I don't know. In, it's been a while since <laughs> what animal was door. Bailey though? That's the whole question. I want to know this. What did he? And did he talk voice a dolphin or a whale? And I'm sure there are people listening, well, watching this, that like are screaming at like me. We're oh, exactly. You. Yep. I just cannot remember for the life of me. But he voices a really good smart dog. He has a. I mean, he just has that smart voice. Yes. He's. He just sounds like he knows what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good cast. It really it is. It really is. Tis a. Uh, I don't know what type of whale that is, but it's one of the white whales with the big head. Beluga. I don't know. Yeah, it's a beluga. You, you know, the, you know the song. Baby, Baby beluga, beluga in the deep, deep blue sea. sea. You swim so wild and you That's swim so free. I will be honest. Dog. All I, the only undersea song I know is "Baby Shark." Do 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 do. You don't know shark. under the sea. <laughs> no. You just said oh, yeah, under the sea. So you don't know under the sea. Under the sea. 
You know. I don't know that one. Under the sea, nope. down where it's wet, the life is better. Take, Take it, it from, from me. me. Nope. Don't Homie, know. this little ant, the little Ariel, this little little mermaid. <laughs> 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 the little Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know the title. Apparently, Homie. I don't even really know the title. Apparently, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I don't know that well either. But yeah, yeah. But we do get, up until Boss Baby 2, we have gotten possibly the the dirtiest joke in DreamWorks history. It, yeah. Wow. I, I almost forgot about that. It is, so so it's, there are two Shermans. The timeline is mixed up, and this is the third act when everything starts getting crazy. And Sherman... He does, cannot come like, into physical contact. Yeah, with his up, but he does... And then another Mr. Peabody comes out of the time machine. What was it called again? I what was I the time it machine called? There was I a, can't remember what it was called. It. I got nothing. But uh, the way goes, back. The way back. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah. nice. He comes out of the way back, and he goes, Sherman, Sherman, what is it? Sherman, Sherman I gotta stop you from touching yourself. yourself. And this <gasps> Grundy writes it down. <laughs> I laugh. I think I'm, I'm sitting there with my brother. You know, he's got to be how old? I mean. He was older than the demographic, but he's, you know, like we all, us three loves animated movie. You know, he's probably in high school and he's watching and I'd say, I don't watch with him. And I was kind of indifferent the whole time. That line, I absolutely you. lost it. He had seen it before and I think he was chuckling, but then didn't realize how hard I was going to laugh. I was not expecting. But when we get to Boss Baby Family Business. I'm not going to spoil it for him. Okay. I want him to experience the magic of that adult joke in Boss Baby too, because it's it's like, are they really? Do- oh my gosh, they just told that joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will say that was like. I don't think there were very much other adult humor in this because I know sometimes no. they like to sprinkle in a couple of jokes to go over kids' heads, but not this one wasn't as much. But then that. I have to stop you from touching yourself. <laughs> oh, that was gold. That was really funny. I I got nothing else to say. I, I yeah. kind of went through all my notes. It's for me. It's very middle of the pack, maybe lower middle of it, just because it's it it achieves what it sets out to do, but it doesn't really. We were just push anything it. else. It yeah. I will say it doesn't feel as much like a DreamWorks movie as others in a good way. It does feel a little more refreshing than a usual DreamWorks formula. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it. Like that. think of like your homes and your turbos that take the formula in the wrong direction, and then you get something like this. It's like it's not the same formula, and it's a nice, fine, fun little movie. And yeah. then you get to Boss Baby, and it just blows it <laughs> wide open. God help me! It's wonderful. No, it is. You, no, you, it's, it you is, have. It is wonderful. Do you have anything? Any other thoughts? Dickie no, on yeah. Peabody no, and you uh, I have not. Jake, it you're the one who likes it the most. Do you have any closing thoughts on it? I don't know. I wonder how much of um, how much of my liking it as much as I do is nostalgia for the time period in which I watched it. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. All right. That it. That well, that's it. Yeah. That's on it. that note, don't forget to like and follow on all the podcasting websites, uh, Apple, Spotify, Google. Also give us a follow and subscribe on YouTube and follow us on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. If you're on Facebook, any of that good stuff. We post good stuff from time to time. And yeah, have a lot of memes and funny videos we do. Check it out. So... That was Mr. Peabody and Sherman. And the next next time you'll see us, we're going to be watching another great DreamWorks sequel. Oh, that's up next. Oh, I'm so excited. This is a, this is one I saw in theaters, which is a lot of these I did not see in theaters. Top so, five best movie you saw ever. One or two, right? I saw this in theaters. This was the first I, one I, I that I saw you. in theaters. I was with you. Yeah. I saw this. My wife and I were the only two in the theater when we saw this for I, the first that, did time. Did you see that? Before you saw it with me, or after? I think so. It was before. I probably yeah. When I saw it with her, it was the first time, and then I would have probably gone to see it a couple more times. Yeah, it's How to Train Your Dragon Two. Came, came out the same year as P. I. German, twenty fourteen. <laughs> we'll get into that next time. But yes. for but for us at Off Slate Media, that works. A DreamWorks podcast signing off. 
We'll see you next time. See ya. That works! I'm talking, I'm talking up here. If, oh, talking I'm about your grandma in Alabama. Talking about my. Man, poor crap. Actually, Where does any other line in that song? I want to talk about me. I want to talk about I. I want to talk about number one. I know my me, my what I got in my mouth, my drink, I want to sing. I like talking about you, 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 usually. But occasionally, I want to talk about me. talking about Peabody and Charmaine. How about we don't talk?